you've not asked for it. You can't have grace if you've not asked for it. And that does not mean that God cannot provide for it, but check how much have I been praying in that area, in this area for one, two, three. When we're talk, still talking of prayer, when we're still talking of prayer, let me close. When we're still talking of prayer, we just take the time. When we're still talking of prayer, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. You also have to understand that you can't pray for something and speak against it. You can't pray for revival and speak against it. You never have what you are praying for and criticizing it at the same time. As a matter of fact, criticizing things is actually a prayer, but to a wrong God. Complaining is actually prayer, but to a wrong God. I hope you're here. So you never have what you're criticizing. So be very careful because you might be praying for something and criticizing it at the same time. As a, as a matter of fact, talking about prayer, I, I don't want to dwell much on prayer because I have stuff to do with you, the Holy Spirit and prayer later, not today, but we'll touch that. I want to say this, that every area where you are falling into things, falling into trouble, falling into temptation, falling